a life-giving nature to abortion. So you look at two very complex surgical procedures. One's an abortion, one's a cesarean section. Both require a doctor, they require you know, medication, they require breakthroughs, but they have two completely different moral premises. One to give life and one to take life away. Does that answer your question? Cesarean section. What an awesome medical breakthrough over the last hundred years. A cesarean section is of course a C-section without getting too graphic. It's a way through medical intervention and progress to save human life. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you are new here, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So today I'm reacting to Charlie Cake Debate College student on science versus nature. Woo! So guys, please stay tuned and let's enjoy this wonderful video together. Poof! Charlie. Hi. So I think this might be more of a point of clarification than a legitimate disagreement. So you started off your um, talk by saying that you oppose science insofar as it stands in the way of nature or it sort of rewrites nature, right? Is that like re an accurate representation of your point? Or? It, it, can, it can cause a lot of damage and not done under the proper moral framework. It's been one of the great killers of, of modern humanity. Obvious with, you know, there's been phenomenal breakthroughs in modern medicine, but continue with your question. So. That was actually my question actually. Oh, okay, well there you go. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you could take, for example, so let's kind of just go back to how science is administered through things that we take for granted, right? So, for example, Sir Isaac Newton, right? Force equals mass times acceleration. An object at rest will stay at rest. For every action, is equal and opposite reaction, right? He was a phenomenal Christian, wrote a lot about biblical prophecy, and looked at nature as a way to explore God's creation for an intended purpose. And so it's all a question of what is the intent, right? So I'll give you a great example. If the intent is to allow human beings to flourish, then I'm all for it. What's an example of that? How about a cesarean section? What an awesome medical breakthrough over the last hundred years. A cesarean section is of course a C-section without getting too graphic. It's a way through medical intervention and progress to save human life with that intended purpose. Now obviously, you know, you have to have an incision, you have to be able to, you know, have the proper, um, have the proper medication so that, you know, the, the woman doesn't feel it. It's the most common medical procedure now done in America today. And so I'm all for scientific breakthroughs and progress, but that's with the intent of saving a human life, right? Properly administered, a C-section is life-giving, right? When you look at other things, there is no life-giving nature to abortion. So you look at two very complex surgical procedures. One's an abortion, one's a cesarean section. Both require... A wow, Charlie. Wow, Charlie is good. He's really, really good. And I love the way he's really, really educating this, um, this college student. Yes, science and, and nature, they are two different things. They are two different things. So I was really, really so happy about the way he was trying to educate the students. So I really want to learn more. So guys, let's continue watching so we can learn more. Poof! Doctor, they require, you know, medication, they require breakthroughs but they have two completely different moral premises. One to give life and one to take life away. Does that answer your question? Yeah, it does. And, and, and speaking of abortion, I did have a sort of separate question, sure. if you don't mind. Yeah. So you sort of spoke, you sort of touched on abor abortion from a moral or philosophical standpoint in your talk. Um, from a political or cultural standpoint, how do you see the, the debate playing out in the mid to long term? Um, who, do you, who do you think wins in the long term? That's a smart question. I, I've given this advice to conservatives, which is you have to be realistic about it. In certain states, in certain areas, it's not a winning issue. Maybe in a longer period of time, we could do our work and we could persuade people. But if you're trying to get political power or win an election, you've got to be realistic about whether or not you think that is going to win people over. And so some people say, Charlie, you should talk about the issue all the time. Well, then how are you ever going to get political power to actually fix the issue, right? I mean, at some point, you've got to be prudent about this. But I think the, the left is going to see a surge of support. I think that's going to happen. They're going to see a lot of money come in, a lot more activists. And then I think we as pro-lifers are going to get reorganized, see where we have to go. And I think we have to go on a multi-decade, multi-generation tour, campaign, project of getting into the deep mor mor moral and philosophy of it, entertaining questions, doing events. Because here's the one thing I could tell you is that most people that are pro-abortion have really not heard the best defense of life, 
from a moral standpoint, a biological standpoint, and a scientific standpoint. But it's going to be a battle, man. And I think you're going to end up seeing kind of red state, blue state abortion centers across the country where California is poised to make abortion a constitutional right. And you're going to see a lot of that kind of interstate travel and all that kind of stuff. So that's my prediction. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, this video is very, very educative. Like, I, I learned a lot about this wonderful video. Yeah. Like, science versus nature. Wow. So, the abortion stuff he was talking about, like, um, science have helped a lot of women um, in terms of CS session to give birth, save a lot of life. But in terms of abortion, it kills too. I don't know if you, if you can imagine the two different yeah it kills so i feel that we should i just i feel that government should be able to um organize a a um a sh like a talk show for people so that they be able to know that abortion is not a good thing taking someone's s life is not a good thing the only time abortion can be done is when it is risk like in terms of life threatening. Maybe like the baby have have not the baby is is in your um uh, what is it called that um the baby is life threatening in your womb so it might kill you so that is how you have to take it off. But when it's just like you just have fun with your boyfriend, just got pregnant, ah, I want to go and abort no I feel that no, it's better even if you are a teenager, maybe you got pregnant by mistake, maybe you did not plan for it. I feel there should be a talk show that the government can say give birth. When you give birth, the children will be will have um we can take care of them since they have child support. Like in terms of like um government normally claims some children. Yes, I feel that some children can go to orphanage or but I don't I don't think that a mother after giving birth to your beautiful child, you want to just let it go. You understand? So I feel that government should just look into this abortion system very well because it has claimed a lot of life. Even some guests that go for abortion, some of them die in the process. Sometimes they will tell you that abortion is not good. When you do it, you might die. Some people will say, yes, I want to, I want to. They will go and do it and they will end up losing the baby and losing their life also. So it's just best for the government to organize a talk show in college and this, in college uh, um, schools, in offices, in different places, so they can be able to educate people. Abortion is not right. It's not a good thing. So guys, please comment below on how you feel about this video, your opinion, comment below, and also like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Enge Fashion Store, fashion makes sense.